an impartial delivery of justice to be guaranteed, the Temple of Justice must live above board. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, CGN Justice Ibrahim Tanko Muhammad, has warned judges to shun unmerited wealth, vainglory, dishonesty, disposition, and ostentatious lifestyle in order to avoid running foul of the law. The CGN said the National Judicial Council, NJC, will fish out bad eggs in the system and show them the way out. The CGN, you know, just reading the right act to unmerited wealth, unmerited wealth, vainglory, dishonest disposition, and ostentatious lifestyle. All these attributes should not be attributed to, that should be credited to a judge or, or an upright judge. They are actually like vices. Um, such vices are not to be identified with people who are supposed to be above board. You know, the late Justice Antonio Niagolu described judges as God's representatives on head. Because God cannot come down and decide cases by himself. Mm. God cannot come down and decide who is just from a pack of unjust people. Mm. So he needed the judges to act more like mediators between him and mankind. And for that reason, a judge has to be above board. If you are the sort of person who likes money, who wants to be seen at all and parties, mm. then that judge, that job is not for you. A judge should really be seen. Mm. That's the way it should be. They should not be found at parties. They should not uh, be, uh, uh, mingle with people of shady character because the CGN also talked about that, that they should not find them in the company of unwholesome people. Uh, you, hardly no. hear, you should hardly hear them uh, outside, outside don't the courts. talk about them. Don't yes. talk. Even, if you don't, even with their faces, mm -hmm. you should not even know how, what they look like. Until uh, recently, I didn't know um, how justice, uh, justice Algier looks like. Mm -hmm. The wife of the, uh, the late Nigerian diplomat. Mm -hmm. It's a Supreme Court judge. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how she looked like. I saw a picture and said, wow. So this is the way this woman, you know, mm -hmm. until recently. Bulkachua, before she re 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 retired, we didn't mm. see her face anywhere. Mm. That's the way it should be. Mm. Judges who can, who like money, people mm. who like money, they should not do that job. I was reading the report of the U.S. Uh, State Department where they were saying Nigerian judges are constantly under pressure from the executive and the legislature to bend justice mm. to twist justice and they also said that they were fond of taking bribes that's the u.s department mm. extraying our judiciary and what that should tell you is there is a need for the njc to do a lot more work We've seen the NJC receive petitions about corrupt judges. They will not act on time. They will wait and wait and wait. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, <coughs> some of those judges will leave the system. Yeah. And after they've left the system, that is when you will now, you will now hear that okay. the NJC it has indicted so. them. What were you waiting for? Why didn't you indict them before they left office? And when you now check, you will see that that petition had been with them for ages. Mm. That's not how to clean up the judiciary. The C CJN can threaten to do this, threaten to do that. We have to see action. Action. We have to see action because these people look at some of the kind of judgments that we are even uh, seeing. Courts of uh, of concurrent jurisdiction, mm. you know, trying mm. to invalidate order. judgment mm. by by how by, by, by one, yeah, one another. I mean, it's wrong. They know what is right, but deliberately they will do what is wrong. Look at how can a, a, a judge in Brine Kudu, in Brine Kudu, mm. State, be deciding over uh, an Anambra matter mm. in her country? Mm. It's happening. Mm. 
So the judiciary has to purge itself. You no know, one can purge the judiciary except it purges itself from within. Mm. And only somebody who is above board, somebody who has evil handedness, someone mm. who truly fears God and mm. remembers that one day he's going to meet his maker. Mm. Is that kind of person who should sit in judgment over other people. Well, anything short of that, look, we are just, uh, we, are, we are wasting time. And sometimes we go beyond this uh, morality mm. and the people we want to even look at even the conduct of their conducts and their work. Somebody was yesterday talking about the case of Ojizo Kalu, that, oh, that particular case, a judge knows that he has been promoted to the Court of Appeal <laughs> and <he> still <laughs> went over when the to go and preside over her <laughs> a judgment and still gave that judgment. And when the thing got to the higher court, they said, so you've been promoted on that technical ground. Pie. You know, the, 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 the one, one important thing that BK has mentioned, which we should note, is that Judges is not as uh, is uh, to be a judge in the Nigeria I grew up in. It's like taking a vow of celibacy or a vow that you want to be poor, except mm -hmm. what the government uh, 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 service mm -hmm. gives you and all that. Because you know, then there were brilliant lawyers who were giving almost everything that come to the bank they said no i want to be a lawyer because i want money i want to make money but now you have lawyers who are eyeing to be judges not because they are brilliant or not because they want to give any judgment but because they want to they know that even if they get to they take bribes they mm -hmm. court okay. they can take larger chunk of money the problem we need to solve is how do we ensure that every one of these people are men of probity and integrity. There are some judges that you know, when we were growing up, even when they come to church or mosque, they have a particular place they sit. And immediately the church service is over, they disappear into the thin air. I know as a child, uh, well, I was uh, already a, a young man, a, a, a judge, that was in judge, who gave his child out in marriage. He was at the church, immediately after the church, he didn't come to the reception. It was the wife and his brother or a relation that stood for him as the father of the bride in the because he knew that if he goes to the reception there are people who, so i mean these are things they are faceless they are gentle i mean but now you see a judge one uh, riffraff is throwing a party because he has money the judge is there yeah. he's happy to be photographed and put a, a splash in the newspaper that uh, i mean things have, have gone here why? All right.